propeller cranes are a hoisting mechanism designed to pick or lift a load using wire rope. They have a steel lattice boom attached to a fully revolving superstructure that is mounted on a pair of crawler tracks. Menu manufacturers have different options available that enable configuration of the crane to a particular application, such as pile driving, standard lifts, or duty cycle work. Units in the low to middle range of lift capacity have good lifting characteristics and are capable of cycling work such as handling a concrete bucket or forming a bridge pier. Crawler tracks provide the crane with good travel capability around the job site, although travel speed is about one mile per hour. Tracks provide such a large ground contact area that soil failure under these machines is a problem only when operating on soils with a low weight bearing capacity. The components of a crawler crane include a pair of parallel crawler tracks, a revolving superstructure with an engine and counterweight, and a steel lattice boom. Before hoisting the load, the machine must be leveled and ground settlement must be considered. When supported ground conditions are good, a crawler crane can move with the hoisted load. This ability to carry a hoisted load, along with the crane's capacity to travel and work even in poor underfoot conditions, is the main advantage of a crawler crane over a wheeled truck crane. The distance between crawler tracks affects stability and lift capacity. The crane base revolves on a center ring and houses a diesel engine to spool the wire rope. An operator is seated at the front for good vision during a lift. A heavy counterweight made of concrete or steel is mounted on the rear of the base to stabilize the crane while lifting. Crawler cranes have a lattice boom made of tubular steel. Most cranes come equipped with standardized booms designed to optimize their performance over a range of applications. Sections of lattice from 5 to 20 feet can be added or removed to vary the boom length. Pins are used to connect the lattice sections. Under load, a lattice boom acts as a compression member, not a bending member like a telescoping hydraulic boom. A lighter weight lattice boom will have the same hoisting capacity as a larger and heavier telescoping boom unit. Because cranes are used to hoist and move loads from one location to another, it is necessary to know the lifting capacity and working range of a crane selected to perform a given service. Working range is the distance from the center axis of the crane to the load and can vary from 80 to 300 feet. Rated loads are based on the tipping condition with an applied percentage ranging from 75 to 85 percent. Rated loads are based on the assumption that the crane is in a level position for the full 360 degrees of swing. Maximum lifting capacity at a minimum radius typically range from 30 to 1,000 tons. The crane operator controls the lift and is responsible for all crane movements, from the hook upward as well as swinging and travel motion. The operator may abort the lift at any time from initial pickup to final placement. The operator's responsibility involves confirming from which individual directions will be given. Other than the case of a stop signal, an operator should respond only to the signals from the designated signal person, confirming the weight of the load, and knowing the location and destination of the load. Crawler cranes are a vital piece of equipment on any construction project requiring high lifts, whether driving piles, lifting bridge forms, or pouring concrete. They are capable of moving around the job site with a wide working range.